Hello friends, welcome back to Mustack. In today's session, we are going to talk about the global transaction or exit transaction. Uh, and after a long time, I'm putting the video on my channel. Uh, last time when we uh, met, actually we talked about the local transaction, what are the components supported uh, local transaction, how to start, what are the transaction actions and types we uh, talked about. So if you want to go through that session, please go through it and uh, then come back to this session, okay? So in this session, we'll talk about uh, the exit transaction. So basically global transaction spans across the multiple resources. Okay, so if you see here, uh, we have a resource called JMS uh, message queue and we have database queue. So these two are two different resources and they handle a different way, their uh, transactions and they write uh, the data or commit the data to the uh, uh, their queues or database in different ways. So, uh, that's the reason uh, local transaction won't work here. Okay, so we need to use exit transaction. And I took the example of uh, Triscope to start the exit transaction. Other components are message listeners and uh, database uh, on table row uh, listeners. So they also starts the, uh, they also supports in starting the uh, transaction, exit transaction. Okay, so if you want to know more about that, uh, please go through my last session and then come back to this one. So here uh, I use uh, the triscope to start exit transaction and you can see it here. You can go to the general tab here. We say always begin and then say transaction type XA. And after this uh, configuration, we need to go to the component level uh, configuration. So if you see JMS public queue here, uh, other than the normal configuration, we need to do one more extra thing. If you go down here, uh, you will see that enable XA. So we need to check this box. Then only this component will participate in exit transaction. Okay, similar for uh, a database configuration also. We need to go to the transactions and here we need to check uh, this checkbox. Okay, I'll show you uh, if we don't uh, check this checkbox, what errors we can see uh, as part of demo, I'll show you that uh, scenario also. So once this is done, uh, to, um, I mean, uh, other than this, we need extra resource called transaction manager. So to handle or start the uh, exit transaction, uh, without the transaction manager, we won't be able to run our exit transaction. So I'll show you that scenario also. Uh, so, uh, MuleSwap provides, uh, uh, you know, inbuilt, uh, or, uh, comes with the runtime, Mule runtime, uh, they call it Bitronics transaction manager. So this component global element uh, manages the resources. Uh, our resources are JMS and database. It manages this. So our flow will be dealing with only Bitronics transaction manager. So what you need to do simple, you need to go here, create uh, Bitronics. We don't need to do anything extra, just select it, that's it. Okay, so this transaction manager will manage these resources. Okay, whenever there is a exit transaction. So let's start the demo. Uh, I already, so I, I'm getting simple uh, query parameter. Uh, which is a brand name and then same brand name I'm publishing to the uh, queue and then database. So let's see uh, quickly queue. Uh, so I don't have queue right now that, okay. So it will get created on the fly. So once I publish the data, so you'll be able to see here some queue uh, with the data, okay, the brand name. And in the database, I have a copy product table. Or oh, if you see here, I don't have anything right now. Let's go to the flow. So this is that uh, uh, JMSQ, which uh, we are going to create uh, with. So if you see, I gave a name, some queue, and uh, I'm running this uh, JMSQ locally. And this is what the data I'm passing uh, or publishing to the queue. And if you see here in the database, I'm inserting uh, the hard-coded values. So something called spot pixel and uh, inserting it, brand name, and some default values, okay, offer price and original price. So to, to simulate the error scenario where uh, our uh, transaction will get rolled back and should get rolled back whenever there is a error in either of the activity to simulate that scenario, I just say that uh, conditionally. So if our product or brand name is Samsung, uh, I'm just raising an error. Okay. So in that case, whenever we are trying to insert the data or publish the data uh, with the brand name Samsung, our transaction will get rolled back. Okay. So we'll, we'll start with happy happy scenario first. And then second scenario will uh, go with the error scenario. And then I'll, I'll show you if we don't uh, uh, check that uh, 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 XA checkbox, then what happens, okay? And if you don't add transaction manager, what happens? All those scenarios we'll uh, see as part of demo. 
So let's start. I, I actually ran this process. So let's see, uh, let's trigger the happy happy scenario first. So nothing is there right now. I'll go to uh, my resource path is save and I'll pass a query parameter as brand. So let's go here. So my path is uh, save and it's running on 8081. And this is the value I'm passing right now. Okay. And I'm expecting this output. Okay. So let's send this. Yes, I'm able to see the message. And let's go to the database and let's see whether the data is committed here. Yes, I'm able to see the brand name spot pixel and this, these are the default values. Let's go to the uh, queue and see whether uh, I am getting new. Yes, I have this queue now created and what is there? Yes, so the brand name is uh, published to this. Now let's go quickly and try to insert uh, uh, Samsung and see what happens. Okay, so now uh, our uh, we are expecting error. Okay, so let's see. Yes, as per our expectation, we are seeing that we don't accept Samsung, and this was the error. Now, if you see in the database, uh, we should not see any uh, spot spot pixel uh, record. One more, no, there is no record. And if I go to the uh, queue also, if I go, uh, if we have only one uh, message, which is old one. Okay. Now let's go back and try to insert uh, one more record. So I'll show you the difference, whether the last record was uh, inserted. Let's uh, quickly, if you see the product ID is nine right now, okay? And the 10th one is already rolled back. So the next record will get with the product ID 11, okay? So that's what I wanted to show. So let's add something called uh, Amazon, okay? And let's see. So yes, so we are able to see the record now. Other than Samsung, we'll uh, everything will be inserted and published. So let's go to the uh, queues. Yes, we are able to see two uh, items in the queue. So I'll check which one is the latest one. Twenty six twenty two, or whichever is. I'll, I'll check this one. Yeah, see here, it's uh, published here, and let me go to the database. See here now, we are able to see 11. That means the, the product ID with the 10, that record was inserted, but it got rolled back because of issue. Okay, so this was the happy scenario. The second last was the error scenario. Now I'll go and I'll show you one thing. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll remove this uh, transaction manager to see what happens without transaction manager. Okay, so let me save this and just wait for the the code to deploy. Yeah, it's getting deployed now. So it started. Okay, let's go to the, uh, I'll try to insert something else. Okay. Okay, send. So here see, without transaction manager, you won't be able to start exit transactions. Okay, so that is the uh, scenario I wanted to show. And now if you add that, okay, just we need to select this. That's it, say okay. Yes, I'll save it. And you'll be able to run your exit transaction, okay? Just wait for the app to deploy. Yes, it's getting deployed. And if you run this now, yes, it's getting uh, inserted and published. Let me check the database. So since we are adding, uh, we are hard coding that. So third record also added. And if you see the queue, uh, we'll be able to see the actual uh, brand name. Okay, so the last one, see here, HP is published. Okay, now let's see uh, one more scenario where I was talking about, I'll just go to the configuration and let's uncheck that checkbox. Okay, and we'll see what difference we see in the output. Okay, let's save this. So these are the important things I'm trying to show you. Uh, whenever you are implementing a global transaction, these things are really important. Okay, so let's wait for the app to deploy. Yeah, it's deployed. Now see here, now see the insert operation is not able to support it, okay? 
and could not bound because it's not participating in the uh, exit transaction okay the database operation insert operation so we need to what we need to do we need to go to the uh, database configuration go to transaction and select it okay okay now i'll go little i'll change the uh, code little bit so here we'll say that uh, amazon okay and we'll try to insert this okay in the database so let me save this okay just let's wait for the app to deploy okay it's running now uh, let me change it here i'll pass the brand amazon again now it inserted see so that checkbox and the transaction manager plays uh, important role when you are uh, uh, trying to achieve the uh, exit transaction okay so that's all from this session hope you liked it uh, please uh, hit the like button um, uh, subscribe the channel and share with the friends thank you thank you for uh, watching see you in the next video bye bye